The Center for American Progress and Foreign Policy magazine are finishing up the final touches on our Terrorism Index, which is a survey of more than 100 terrorism and national security experts. These experts are people from across the ideological spectrum who are part of the establishment, the national security establishment. These are people who are former military commanders, a former Secretary of State, a former national security advisor, um, people in the intelligence community, but people from across the ideological spectrum. We've got Republicans, we've got Democrats, and that's been a huge, huge priority for us to make sure that we had people from both sides of the aisle. We wanted to make, make this a bipartisan look at how we're doing in terrorism and in U.S. national security. So, the terrorism, so foreign policy and the center teamed up to do this survey. We did one about six months ago and we are soon to release our second terrorism index. This basically came out of a feeling that we wanted to know how we were doing in the war on terror. Secretary, former Secretary of Defense Rumsfeld wrote a, something called the Snowflake memo, memo in 2003, basically asking, are we deterring, stopping, are we deterring more terrorists than are being recruited? Um, are we killing and capturing more terrorists than are being recruited? And we wanted to answer that question. Um, but we can't really do it through statistics. A lot of the information is classified. And, and a lot of it's ambiguous. You know, what is the war on terror? How do you assess how we're doing in that? So we felt that the best way to do that was to reach out to our experts and ask them these important questions. The results were not very optimistic. Our experts in this survey overwhelmingly believe that Americans are actually less safe than they were before September 11th. We're talking about 81 percent of the people, of the experts, both Democrats and Republicans, said this. They also, the vast majority, felt that we were not winning the war on terrorism. Again, a very depressing statistic. 70, I'm going to look down and, and make sure that I've got the right numbers here, but 70 percent thought the Bush administration had no clear plan for protecting the United States from terrorism. They also cite three top threats they believe are the most crucial um, uh, or, the, or the most scary. That's WMDs, nukes, and the third was terrorism. So they actually put WMD, WMDs or weapons of mass destruction and nukes before terrorism, which was an interesting and, and surprising result to us. The other issue was that while they thought the world was becoming more dangerous, Mo more people chose that the reason for this was the Iraq War more than any other reason. We had 41 percent of our experts say that the world was more dangerous because of Iraq. They also um, are very critical of a number of U.S. government agencies who are trying to combat terrorism and protect, enhance U.S. national security. They're very, very critical of, uh, of numerous agencies, especially the Department of Homeland Security. They also, the experts, also thought that we were doing a poor jo job in a number of different policy areas, S like the war in Iraq, like I said before, but also our policies towards Iran, North Korea, U.S. energy policy, the Middle East peace process, Guantanamo, there were a number of areas where they felt we needed real improvement. They also showed again and again through the results that we need to take a much bigger and closer look at getting North Korea right. So that was another, and, and Iran was another part of that. So there were very interesting results and results that we need to be constantly, we need to be thinking about in, you know, in the, in the national security world, make sure that we're getting it right. If, if you have an interest in any of these results, you can find them both on the Center for American Progress's website and Foreign Policy magazine. Uh, it's, it's a very depressing view, but an important, important insights by our experts. Thanks.